How's it going out there, guys? It's the Electron Man. We got us another little uh, CB amp here, I'm guessing. Uh, one of them little small uh, driver amps. Uh, kind of like that other one I did, that uh, the one that I thought was maybe a Golden Eagle. We did, you guys helped me out and figured out what that was. Can't remember it off the top of my head now, but uh, anyway, we got it up and going. Uh, but I uh, found this little guy this weekend. I, man, most of the time I go to garage sales, I don't find anything. And uh, I was just sniffing around a couple of garage sales and saw this sitting on a on a table. And uh, let me kind of give you give you a view of it right here. And uh, I knew with the standby on and the RJ, you know, with the uh, SO239 uh, jacks in the back, I knew it was definitely for RF. And uh, anyway, long story short, uh, we uh, kind of gotten a little uh, bidding battle on it. Uh, the guy had a um, 35 bucks marked on it, and uh, I thought that was a little high. I mean, I don't know if it works or anything. He didn't know if it worked. Um, and uh, I told him it's probably got all dried up caps. And I offered him 20 bucks, and uh, he he, he wasn't, didn't seem to be wanting to uh, to go with that. And uh, kind of biddle around and uh, kind of fill around, look through other things. Uh, this is the only CB stuff I found there. You know, it's hard to find them in garage sales anymore. I guess guys are really snacking them up or snacking them. <laughs> They're really snatching them up these days. Um, yeah, CB's kind of gotten a little hotter, but uh, anyway, I got got lucky and scored this little guy. And uh, long story short, here I am rambling again. Um, I, uh, I I was gonna give up on. It. I just thought, you know, man, for these can't be worth more than fifty or hundred bucks, you know. And I don't know that it works, and the tubes could cost a bunch. So finally, right before I left, I almost I actually kind of was going to the car and thought, you know what? I'm gonna go back and offer them twenty five, and, and I'm gonna stick at twenty five, and. Uh, so I went and I said, look, man, you know, we don't even know if it works. I mean, I, I'll give you 25. That's all I got. And uh, he, you know, kind of him on. He said, I'll tell you what, I'll go ahead and give it to you for 25. So anyway, I ended up picking this guy up for 25 bucks. Um, it might be a boat anchor. It might work. Um, we're getting ready to open her up and find out and see what we got inside of here. I love all these these older stuff that uses these screws. They're, they're quarter inch. I just take the bit out of my screwdriver and it fits them. It's like I got a nut driver handy. Anyway, let's go ahead and open it up and see what we got looking like on the inside here. Again, anytime you're dealing with uh, tube ants, be very, very, very careful. Um, even this one's probably got three to 500 volts in it and uh, it'll get you. So, you know. You notice right now I don't have it plugged in at this point. I'll uh, do a full inspection on it, and then I'll put it on my Variac and bring it up slowly, just in case it's got a shorty cap or something. But uh, let's just kind of get the cover off and see what we got here. It looks pretty clean on the inside. Um, nothing unusual there. How we look on the underside here? Are we gonna set on the tubes now? I get a good view from the underside there. Sprague Adam caps, huh? 10 UF. Three of those. Fuse, which doesn't look blown. That's a good sign. Another uh, variable capacitor. Loading cool. There's our uh, rectifier built with uh, kind of like my. It's a, very similar to that other one I did here last week. It's got a little uh, rectifier bridge there. I don't see anything burning it, which is a good sign. And uh, wow, it's only got what? One, two, three, four caps. 12 microfarad, huh? And that looks like that goes to the plate. Just like that 100 ohm did on the other one. Uh, interesting. I don't see anything. Looks bad at all. The caps don't even look like they're uh, swollen or leaking at all. Heck, there's only three of them in here. It'd be real easy to do a Capri. Well, I guess you, that doesn't include the ceramic ones, but typically those ceramic ones, man, unless they're cracked or something, they, they seem to hold up just about indefinitely. And on this side, it doesn't have any caps. So yeah, it literally has three caps in it. Oh, four, excuse me. Uh, well, let's go, uh, I'll tell you what, let's do first. <clears throat> Let's get the old good tube tester out here. Let's see what we got as far as tubes. This is interesting. The other one I did had a 
two tubes in or yeah it had two tubes and I come to find out after uh, seeing the schematic and stuff one of the tubes is actually for the uh, for the relay so I'm guessing on this one it's probably that's probably your um, king relay tube and these are probably your two driver tubes so this one actually might do a little more uh, wattage than the other one that's that's interesting uh, yes it looks like it's got two driver tubes or maybe a pre-driver and driver tube and, and a relay tube so yeah let me get this good old guy out older than probably me she sure has been a uh, been good to have though like I said it tests I'm pretty lucky with it it seems like it pretty much tests every tube that I've come across power up oh I gotta look up the shoot I gotta look up the tube numbers here my old eyes sometimes that's hard to do too let me get that tube manual pulled up here on my laptop I don't know, PDF. I have the manual somewhere too, but man, it's so yellowed and the, you know, after paper gets that old, it kind of crumbles in your hands when you open it. So, kind of nice to have a, have a PDF version of it. Well, let's get these tubes pulled out of here first, see what we got going on. Probably ought to, <laughs> I just yanked them. Hopefully these two are the same. I'm assuming they are. Well, my old eyes, it's hard to read some of these tubes. This looks like it's a and I can't really tell. They are the same, it looks like. Six W B six it looks like. Is it a W or an H? Uh, let me hold eyes here. Six HB six. Okay, six HB six. And let me scroll down here. Six H H. Whoops. Went too far. Went too far. Well, I'm sorry guys, I know I probably cut some of this out. I don't, you don't want to lull me sitting here hunting for this thing. Gee. 6HB6. Increase the size a little bit there so I can read it better. 6HF8. 6HB6. Uh, socket, uh, one. Hopefully you can see this. Get her in socket one here. Let's see socket one six H B six. Where'd it go? Six H B six. E. Already set on E. Six H B six. Two, one, so two, I got one, that's one, and two, one, two, and A. Boom. That's a good tube. Uh, about 70% there. Not a great tube, but not a bad tube. Sometimes you let them warm up a little bit, they even get a little better, but it looks like, uh, it's like 70% is going to be what that one is. So let's see uh, what number two tube is. Uh-oh. Well, that's not good. Shoot. Is that the same tube? Am I reading that right? 6HB6, yeah, that's right. Six 
B6. X is one. It's probably right, or it would be worked on the other one. E, yeah. Sorry here, 6HB6. I keep losing my line here. Z is 2, that's right. 6HB6. Six 6HB6. Six six. Man, why do I keep losing that? 2A socket 1, yeah, that's right. Not even lighting. It's lighting. Hey, it's coming up now. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on. Come on. Ah, not great. About sixty-five. Yeah, it'll it'll work. It's it's in the green. It's good, but uh, definitely not a fresh tube. I wonder how much these things are. I'll have to go on our eBay and interwebs and see what uh see what they go for. Well, I ain't gonna get too too deep into that until I make sure the thing works. But uh, if it works real good, I might see if they if, if it's a you know six or seven dollar tube. I wouldn't mind investing in a couple fresh ones. They're really pretty even. They're really both about 65. This is a little bit better, but they're both about 65%. Okay. Well, they're good. I mean, they're not blown. That's good. They're not shorter or anything like that. Where's my other little tube here? Oh, Lordy. What is this one? 6H G5. 6H G5. X is two. E again. One. Socket 12. Wow. So it's this little guy. Six HG five A. Wait a second. What am I seeing here? Six HG five. That's why I should write them down before uh, I do this. Two E one A. Two E one A. Okay. Six HG five and socket twelve. This should, I'm pretty sure this is the King Relay tube. Let it sit for here and warm up, see what we got. Hey, again, nothing to write home about. But it is good. About 55, 60%, barely good on the weak side. But if it's just the King tube, as long as it's King and the Relay, it. That's not near uh, near as important, I wouldn't think. Yeah, about 58, 60 percent. Okay, well, the tubes do test out. That's good. Better than it could be. Like I said, the little guy works. It impresses me. Uh, we might actually spend a few dollars and go ahead and put some. Uh, new tubes in there. Let me put my tube tester back up here, get it out of the way. Oh, Lordy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Okay. I'll slide this guy over. Since we do have known tubes that are good, not great, but good. 
Good enough to test it anyway. Go ahead and put them back in there. Okay, and let's see here. This is, goes to the antenna. Our dummy load. Wow, this has got a looks like a pawn shop sticker on the back of it. It's ninety-nine dollars is what they wanted for it. It says Hawk one hundred watt linear. Huh? You really think those two little tubes are doing hundred watts? The pawn shop's being a little uh, exaggerating on that. I can't see this thing doing hundred watts, but maybe I'm wrong. Impress me. If it does 100 watts, I'll be buying some new tubes for it. <laughs> I'm thinking more like 30 to 50, maybe. have to go out and see if I can find any information on it. Um, at least this time I do know it's a Hawk. That's it. These, these old 70s and 80s, they just don't have a whole lot of information on them. But I have to see if there's a schematic for this old Hawk. It's called a Hawk. Okay, let me go ahead and hook her up to the old real star, very stat, very stat here, and uh, power her on. Let's turn her on. Hands clear. Let's bring up a little voltage on her. Okay, that's 20 volts. Nothing, no, no magic smoke yet. We'll go up to, uh, let's go up to about 60 volts here. Tube's lighting. I'm getting a green light on the front on the indicator that it's on. Am I getting any glow in the tubes? Not yet. Um, let's go ahead and bring her up. So far, no magic smoke, so let's go ahead and bring her up about 90 volts. If we get any, yep, I'm getting, I'm getting some tube lightage on all three. That's good. Still no magic smoke. See if the pass through is working. No problem with pass through. Let's just cure with 90 volts and see what she does. Relay's working. And I am on a 100 watt scale and I'm keying 20 watts. Cool. Where's that? Yeah, not 20 watts. I'm keying yeah, about 8 watts actually. It is amplifying though. And I haven't even touched the tune or load on it yet. Let's go ahead and bring her on up to 125 volts. Bam! Took that 100 watt meter and took it. So this appears to be a working amp. I think my $25 investment might not have been bad. Hey, that's not bad. 30 watt carrier. I haven't even tuned it yet. Let's see what tuning looks like. I had it pretty close to no tune right off the bat. That was pure luck. <whistles> How's it reflected on it? SWR is good. Which, I mean, a dummy load, it should be at zero, so that's good. Yeah, 30 watt dead key. Swinging almost 50. I wonder with uh, fresh tubes if I could get. And this is a weak radio. This uh, Sony Dick is about two and a half carriers, so this might actually PEP might actually do 100 watts. I am tickled, tickled pink. I'm just tuning on her a little bit. Doesn't seem to be getting hot at all. It's a 50 water. Man. Garage sale bargain. I think that's what I'm going to name this video. 
you know, he wasn't really far off on his price to start with. He should have tested it and made sure it worked. If he didn't sure me it worked, I'd have paid what he asked. Hello, audio. <whistles> wow, well, I guess this is going to be a short video, guys. Um, why would I mess with it? It ain't broke. Uh, I have a motto. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Amazing. Well, let me go ahead and uh, slide her back here and uh, give you the the old wattage things here. We'll. Uh, sorry, I know it kind of jumps around here, but okay, we'll go ahead and we're gonna go ahead and move over to standby. We'll go back over to the 10 watt scale so you can see what my radio does. And it's dead key in two and a half. Swinging about six. It's a good old middling here. So I just use it as my test bench radio. I know a lot of these guys use their uh, their galaxies and everything else. And I guess depending on the amp, it makes sense. But I just I like using this old old middling flat faced and uh, as my test rig. And it's got a bad face plate on it anyway, so it's not you know if I blow it up or it feeds back it or something, I'm not out a lot. So kind of makes sense to me to use it. Let me turn that down tone down. I was just making sure it was passing through. In fact, I can go ahead and turn that off. I don't need that. Anyway, back to uh, here I go rambling on again. Okay. <whistles> Two and a half swinging about six. We'll go ahead and turn the amp on see, make sure there's no magic here. I'm not doing anything sneaky. Okay, we're going to own. We're in a 10 watt scale still. Boom. Boom. Yeah, I'd say that uh, that's more than 10 watts, right? So let's go ahead and slide over to the 100 watt scale. And boom, about 35 watt carrier there. So two and a half to 35. And then swing wise. Really about about 45-ish, maybe 50. I saw it bounce up to a couple times, but uh, that's with a two and a half watt carrier. So if you're putting five in it, I could see this thing easily doing 60 to 70, maybe 100 with a fresh set of tubes. I don't know, I might do a part two on this, and I'm gonna go out and do a little sniffing on the on the eBay and see how much them, them two driver tubes. I don't think I'm gonna worry about the, uh, the relay tube, but I wouldn't mind putting a couple of fresh uh, driver tubes in if they're not too expensive. And, just seeing what this might do. This might actually, uh, I might it put up with this with my Galaxy Saturn. It, uh, you know, I've got variable power on it and uh, key her down to where she's keen about two watts swinging about 15 and fresh set of twos. And this thing might be a good little old uh, heater to have. Anyway, uh, guys, uh, this is Electron Man, kind of a short video today. I really expected to get in here and have to do some repairs to it, but uh, heck, that's a good garage sale find, right, guys? Anyway, if you like this video, please take a chance to like and subscribe. This is Electron Man. Man, have a great day and a great week and weekend.